First thing, I would like to thank you and the University of Missouri here at St. Louis uh, for hosting us and the coordinating board for the last couple of days and appreciate the hospitality uh, and it's been, it's been a productive meeting. Uh, yes, I've been here 73 days and I've enjoyed it very much. I've taken the time uh, as I moved here uh, most recently from Colorado. Uh, what I want to do is take the time to listen and learn and learn of Missouri. And while I can bring outside states' perspectives and other ideas of what's going on in higher education, uh, uh, it's, not an automatic, uh, it's not automatically adaptable right into the Missouri system and culture. So I want to take the time to show some respect, to listen and learn, see what the institutional issues are, what the state issues are, and how that all fits together. I believe you've now visited 10 institutions of higher education already in your time. You know, what are some things that you've learned? Well, I think uh, one is that we have a variety of missions and the students that we serve uh, in the different regions. I've been in the southeast region and the southwest region uh, most recently and looking to take in on some of the others. Uh, and uh, all of the institutions want to be of service to the state. They're well connected to the regions. They are concerned about the economic development and the future of the regions, uh, but they're also uh, uh, excited about the opportunities that they possess. And so, uh, or they present. So it's a, so it's a, it's a good time and they are uh, vigorous and innovative institutions, a lot going on. A lot of what we want to do is see uh, how does that uh, transfer over to workforce development, economic development, because we think of, of uh, economic development and community development go hand in hand. And so we want the institutions to be well connected in to their regions and, and how that works together. So. What excites you, or what excited you even before you came here about higher education in Missouri? You know, there were, well, there were three things that really caught my eye. One is that this, this uh, current governor has invested more in post-secondary education uh, than, uh, than, uh, in the, than any governor in the past 20 years. So it's been an exciting, uh, for me, it was an exciting opportunity to take a look at what was going on in Missouri to have that kind of support. The second thing is that the, the merger of the Department of Higher Education and the Office of Workforce Development. And Missouri is only the second uh, state in the nation to, to merge those two uh, different units into one. And I think this one actually was done more intentionally. So that was exciting to talk about uh, how important uh, workforce development, economic development, how important uh, higher education is in that. So we'll talk about upskilling, reskilling, credentialing, uh, and, and how all that fits together to uh, benefit the state. And not just that, but also the regions, and then the worker, the families, uh, things of that nature. And that takes us to the last point, and that is that the Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development has a strategic plan that caught my eye. And it was along those very lines. So the goals are broadly that 60% uh, of all Missourians would have some kind of post-secondary uh, credential or degree by 2030, and that 70% of Missourians will be in, in, in the workforce in some capacity by 2030. Right now, I think we are sitting at, in the 60% goal, we're sitting at about 47%. So it's that last 13% is the hard one to get. And then the 70% the workforce, we are actually moved up in, over the last measurement. We're now at about 63%, 64%. So that last 6%, though, is the hard to get, and particularly coming out of the pandemic. Uh, how do we make sure everybody gets back in the workforce and is, and is well employed, fully employed, uh, with a wage or salary that uh, they can support their families? So there was those three items, the, the governor and his investment, the alignment of the uh, of the two, two departments into one, and then the strategic plan that followed. What were your thoughts on your first board meeting with the, the coordinating board for higher education? It was a productive meeting, uh, a lot of, lot of good discussion, a lot of give and take. I think the, uh, the presidents uh, attend and participate uh, rather openly. It was my first observation, and that that's a good thing. And so uh, that we can all be here, pull together, and let's talk about that. Uh, the coordinating board is the only board in the state that really is a statewide uh, mission uh, to, to coordinate and align what all is going on around us. And all of the institutions, of course, have their own governing boards and focus on their institution, their region. So they're much more regionally or locally focused. All that's to the good, but it's great for the coordinating board to hear from the presidents uh, and maintaining their statewide perspective of how it all, feels to get, all fits in together. So I thought it was a good meeting, but it certainly uh, was a productive and full one. So You obviously had a chance to see parts of 
the UMSL campus in the last day. I know you got a tour yesterday from the chancellor. What jumped out at you about this institution? Uh, well, a couple of things. Uh, one is uh, uh, what a dynamic and innovative place uh, with, the, uh, with the diverse campuses, north and south uh, areas, and, and how the institution is 60 years old. Uh, and, and which is rather young in terms of universities, uh, but, but uh, what a place that's well organized and what a fantastic strategic plan. So I congratulate uh, Chancellor Sobolik on her plan and with her leadership staff and how they've all come together, the community. Uh, her plan for uh, reorganizing and pulling different units together, even through new buildings or, or reorganizing physically. Uh, and uh, not many universities have a demolition zone where they're actually going to plan to pull down some buildings and rebuild in a way that serves their uh, ongoing new purposes. And so that's a, you know, it's an exciting place. With a, that's a big plan, a lot of energy. Uh, so it was great to see that. But really it's focused on, uh, as she would say, as I could see, um, economic development, workforce development, uh, high-end industry, uh, you know, knowledge industry, public partnerships, public-private partnerships. Uh, so. I was really impressed by what all she has going on here. It's an exciting place.